save people's lives and at one time help people with polio walk again. Now the hyperbaric chamber is helping treat dozens of other illnesses. Dr. Joe shows us the amazing results coming up next. Doctors used a hyperbaric chamber to save a woman poisoned by carbon monoxide. It was a very sad story. Two of her children had died. A hyperbaric chamber looks like something from outer space, actually, and Bay Area doctors are using it for all kinds of medical problems. Dr. Joe is here now with the story. Joe? Thanks, Denise. Hyperbaric chambers are insurance approved for 14 different ailments. The big question, can they offer even more benefits? Tonight, one stroke patient who says these treatments are giving her more than new hope. Look inside these glass cylinders. These are hyperbaric chambers. Delivering high pressure oxygen, helping dying tissue regain its blood supply. You cause very small vessels to grow back into an area where there's the living tissue but not getting adequate perfusion. Dr. Alan Spiegel is a neurologist. He uses the chambers to treat wounds, infections, burns. He also treats several unapproved conditions like autism, nerve damage, and stroke. The people who I generally treat actually are people who are well beyond are well beyond those who you would normally expect to improve. Many have no cure. And unfortunately I am the area of last resort. I couldn't move my legs or my arm at all. Joan Brennick's stroke left her paralyzed and in a wheelchair. After one hyperbaric session, she noticed a change. I moved this leg onto, onto this leg and took my sneaker off, which was something I couldn't even dream about doing before. I was actually a little bit of a skeptic. Joan's husband Michael had doubts. Then he saw a difference. I was uh, just dumbfounded. I couldn't believe it. But one reason why more people don't get hyperbaric therapy for stroke, it's not covered by insurance. The Brennicks are convinced oxygen therapy got Joan back on her feet. Within a week's time, she was up walking around with assistance in the house. They want other stroke victims to know it's an option. It takes everything I have to contain myself, not to get up out of my seat and tell everyone I see in wheelchairs and walkers to try it because it's helped me so much. Dr. Spiegel says other countries routinely use hyperbaric therapy for many other conditions, including MS and brain trauma. He believes there's enough scientific evidence to support its use in this country as well. If you want more information, log on to our website at myfoxtampabay.com. Click on Seen on TV. Denise, Kathy. Thank you so much, Dr. Joe. Really bad news.